Guys, this is the episode. Today, addicted to Arsenal, are back at Wembley for the second time this season. This is the FA Cup final. Hi guys, CJ Root here again. How you doing? Right, I said I would, and here it is. I said when we were in the four competitions that we will be playing the finals. The Carabao Cup, we played, we lost, 1-0 to Burnley. European Cup, we went out to Real Madrid, which was, we can hold our heads up high here, uh, addicted to Arsenal. Tony Adams has led the team to a fantastic finish, but with a little bit of a poor run at the end. Show in a second, and we are just about to kick off the FA Cup final against Manchester United. But let's have a look at the, how we finished the season. Um, yeah, we were second for quite a lot of it. Um, we've always been in that top half bracket, but Arsenal under Tony finished fourth. It was a very poor last four games of the season. All resulting in draws, which was allowed to Man United to catch up with us and Chelsea overtake us. So 79 points. We've made it to UEFA Champions League fight, Champions League again, which is brilliant news. Um, 38 games, 23 wins, 10 draws, 5 defeats. Goal difference of 46. So we've done well. Lacazette finished second top goal scorer in the league with 22. Um, which was really good. Our average rating player was Granite Jacker, 7.69. Bellerin, second in the assists with 13. Um, if we look at the awards, because there are a little bit of um, surprises. So, that's team of the week. Oh, no, we don't want transfers. We want to go back to awards. We want da -da. football of the year. Went to Kovacic, so for Chelsea. Um, that's uh, a bit of a uh, trucker. Golden Glove went to Edison and Man City. So Leno wasn't in the top three. Manager of the year is Tony Adams. Yes, he's finally been recognised. He's done it. Manager of the year in 2021 season. Fantastic achievement for him. Um, players player of the year went to Kovacic. And team of the year. Not great. We had Edison in goal, Wampasaka, Stones, Laporte, and May United left back, Region. Then went Bernardo Silva, Kovacic, De Bruyne, Rashford, with Dembala, and Phil Foden up front, which was um, a bit of a strange one. So, not 100% sure on that. Young player of the year. Went to Lucas Rabinstone of West Ham. So, not a very good time in the, the award ceremony side of things. But, we are going up against Manchester United. We have clean bill of health with everyone. I've gone with this team. Leno and goal. Bellerin, Sadivi, Apapanko. And Tierney, Xhaka, Sabios, Pepe, Sabitza, Abamian, Lacazette up front. In the last part of the season, Tony changed it. He went three at the back with holding Sabitz, um, Sadibi, and Apapanko as that. It, it looked really good. You just remind me, I'm going to take Make the Nars off. I'm going to bring on Rob Holding as well not Mackey we want Rob Holden Mackey 
it's coming there so we've got on the bench Martinez Kalasinac Saka Silva Holding Guendouzi Nilsson that is the team that has been pretty much the solid team most of the season so that's what we're going with FA Cup final today at Wembley the teams are now warming up this is a fantastic occasion it's um it could be two trophies in two for Tony Adams it's a fantastic please guys I will ask you to subscribe to the channel yes subscribe come and join us come and get in the chat come and join the discords and all that I'm floating around on a few discords and all that we can have a good chin wag have a good laugh and we'll go from there so but right we need eyes down looking I want to let's try and do this I'm predicting hopefully we do get the win we've beaten Man United before we can do it like I said last four games has all been draws I feel about three of them were nil nils in the four games so hopefully we can turn the form around and do it we've got green lines mostly L everywhere a little bit of a key area behind Tierney but other than that the partnerships are all there they're all looking good they're all fit Wembley's going to be a hot occasion it's a hot occasion tonight this is a Tuesday night we are streaming on the 11th of August we are hot so it's one of those one of those games let's see if this happens don't worry it's too hot for the old shirt and tie to do it um, it's not couldn't do it in this weather I haven't got no bottles of bubbly so I can't do champagne afterwards but we can try it can try it but manager of the season for Tony Adams that is a hell of an achievement for him we can only just top it off with this title I'll be right back once this is uh, all warmed up Right, we're back. Man United versus Arsenal. FA Cup final. Apparently going to be a sellout. They've gone with De Gea in goal. Lindelof, Trebezi, Maguire and former Real Madrid left-back Reginian, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. Then they've gone with Matuidi and Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes in the centre. They've got Federico Chiesa, A. Gomez, Rashford and Martinez up front. The guys a bit of the same sort of um, formation as me, but let's hope. They got Smalling, Martial, Greenwood, Gardner, Wambasaka and Williams as well as Henderson on the bench. So I'll say in a way on paper their bench is a little bit stronger. I like to say that our team's a bit better on paper. Bear in mind that this is a team which practically won the UEFA Cup last season as well. So, we'll go in there. What's Arteta want us to say? Prove a point today. Can I get that? Everyone's listening key, keenly. A couple of us seem motivated. There's not much more I can do. Tunnel chat tunnel chat here we go Arsenal's last mate with Man, Man United at Old Trafford took at 1-1 what do you make of your chances of this match I do expect a hard fought tough encounter always is between Arsenal and Man U talking about the versatility now on Marcel Sabitzer he is a Swiss Army knife. He can play anywhere across that front three, even up front on his own. He can score goals. 13 goals this season and 42 appearances. That's a fantastic record. Right, down to the game. Let's get into it. Let's get the match facts up, shall we? Because FA Cup won last game of the season. Two minutes in and Arsenal already have a shot on target. On 
target. We're going to hit out more. We're going to want this a bit more. So, Maguire blocks a shot there. Just reading the footnotes. Like, here we go. Free kick. Pepe brings it in. It's a goal for Arsenal already. Three minutes on the clock. And Pepe has given Tony Adams' team a 1-0 lead. Cracking start there. Have we put the jinx to bed now from the Carling Cup final? Where Burnley scored early, early against it through Jack Cork. Now, Man United on the attack, coming down the right. Tries to seek out Rash. Rashford gets past Bellerin. Gets held up with Sadibi. Ah, oh, just go over there by Chiesa. Ah. Oh. Look at that, four minutes on the clock. Nicholas Pepe with a free kick. Knew there was a, I had the choice of him or Reese Nelson in there or even Sebitza on there, but the left peg of Pepe on that right hand side is brilliant. How else are we gonna do? Bruno Fernandes free kick. Floats it in round the back, it's out. Is it? It's just bounced over. Just bounced over, I think from Harry Maguire, I think that was, oh. Glad I got the copper bells going on now, boys. Right, we're still four shots up, three on target for us. So we seem to be dominating possession wise. It's 58 42 in Arsenal's favour, so Tony's making this, uh, this count. Let's demand more. We can get into this game. 17 on the clock. The first 20 minutes has gone really well in Arsenal's case. Not many bits I can do that he's left to do in a way. He's motivated the team brilliantly. Fourth in the league, which is better than last season. Okay, Europe didn't go quite as well, but it was in a different competition. Could have won the Carlin Cup. Corner comes in. Sadiwi, he gets lost out to Bruno Fernandes. Akapango's going across and wasted ball. It's gone back to the left back. Jack has closed down. Rashford against Bellerin's better, better dived in early. Crossed it in. Oh, great hands there by Leno. Great hands by Leno. He's been fantastic this season. So glad to have him back in the six. We had him lost him for a few games, which after his Real Madrid. Um, at the Bernabeu where we come away with a 1-0 victory was great of course Sadibi's been a bit nervous now he's not liking it but I have got holding on the bench who can do it so that means I will lose one of the front men if I have to go to a back three um, and hold it holding does brilliantly he's, he's taking his inspiration from Tony but here we go, 32 minutes on the clock, and it's still Pepe's fourth minute goal at the end of this. So it's Mike and Martin Atkinson is the referee. We're still his 50% in possession now. It's they're getting them back in. Can we hold out to half time, one nil up, and then hopefully bring it home? 40 minutes on the clock now so there's not been any more highlights recently so this is not a good time they've only had four shots to t until on target so chances wise it's Ar Arsenal's been the dominating force at the minute so we might want to ease them off tackles that's not a bad idea don't want to get a sending off in the, in the second half, I think. But, cracking. There we go. They've got Rashford's been booked, so one of their main men's been a little bit. Alright, so dressing room time. How's Tony going to react? Let's, that's a bit more motivation there from Leno basically told him look do it for the fans the fans pay your wages and do it Aubameyang seems like it's a bias it seems to be what a way to top the season 
we've got subs we can start thinking about substitutions coming in how to beat Man United at the last game of the season they pipped us to second place they had two games in hand and really just when I only had the one game left so they had three games and they pulled it out one way shape or form Maguire Maguire's taking throw-ins that's a bit weird he's getting pressured it's gone all the way back to De Gea De Gea kicks long to Martial Rashford already on that yellow card Rashford drives and takes a wayward shot wayward shot that was too easy there too easy come on Arsenal little strange fact Tony Adams has been in two I mean two FA Cup songs for Arsenal that was the 93 song Shout for the Gunners and he was also in Hot Stuff as well from when we done the double just uh, useless facts but yeah I, I play them when we played Chelsea in the FA Cup final so I had to so right Dale Akapungo drives it forward looks out for Pepe Pepe drives it in Takes it oh, da, straight into the high of midriff. Man United are not feeling that in a minute. The few players who are very frustrated, anxious. But it's still 1 0. We've got a fired up team. Lacazette's been a bit quiet. Cool. Do I bring on Fabio Silva, the young Portuguese striker? It's uh, who do I take off? I really need a second goal at the moment. At the moment, is one nil enough? Does that give you a breathing space? They've got ninety thousand in the stadium, forty-five thousand of Arsenal, forty-five thousand of Manchester United fans. Ah, uh, Bamyang's been booked. We're hitting the seventy-minute mark now. It, this is uh, this is now biting stuff. We've had eleven shots to their six on target, eight to three to Arsenal's favour. They've had three off target to Arsenal's one. Clear cut chances has gone to Man United. They're gaining a little bit more possession now, fifty three to forty seven. We've had six corners, committed eight fouls each. They're doing us on the t uh, tackles one headers. We're beating them. Pass completion. We're just beating them. But, God, 75 on the clock. They've brought on Martial now. Martial is on. He can be a threat. Last 10 minutes. Do I make the changes now? Do I keep the same team? It is one of those. I might. As Tony Wright. Oh. I'm going to bring on. Fabio Silva. Lacazette has not had a sniff of goal in this right. So Bellerin with the throw. Xhaka loses out to Martial. Now it's the bear down. Now Sadibi's going across. Ah, oh, Martial just wide of the far post. That was a bad decision there. Right, Fabio Silva's on. He's a tall guy. He'll be able to win some headers. Hopefully, if we can get it in the box. Enough. We need to get it out to Aubameyang and Pepe. They brought Juan Pesaka on at right back. So are they trying to try and do it? Two minutes right. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's bring on Rob Holding for Sadivi and just so he doesn't get booked or do anything stupid. Abamyang comes off and Saka comes on. 90 minutes on the clock. We've made the substitutions just to try and to do it. They've swapped a couple of players around. 92 93, that should be the final whistle. Should be Pepe's goal has sealed it. Yes, it has. It's officially over. Tony Adams has now done it. Two trophies in two seasons for him. Manager of the year as well. Look at that. Pepe's fourth minute free kick. Puts it at the top corner. 
they win the FA Cup. He wins the FA Cup. He's becoming an Arsenal legend again, but in the management room. That's fantastic work for him. Look at that, look at the stats. 11 shots to their eight. Eight on target to their three. Right, well, better on the shots. Clear cut chances still went down to them. We were minorly beaten in possession, but that's the result that matters. That 1 0 victory there through Nicholas Pepe. Oh, guys, let's get the dressing room. Let's. That's a fantastic result. Let's just congratulate all the players. What a. What a game. I'm happy. Enjoy the success, success, lads. Fantastic. What can I say? Tony Adams, two trophies in two seasons, a fourth place finish, which was better than us. The board must be happy. I'm going to take you now, and it's a very special privilege to the trophy room. And here it is, and there it is, the FA Cup. Tony has now won the FA Cup as a player and now as a manager. He's up there, he's got his Manager of the Season award, he's got the UEFA Cup there, he's got the Super Cup. So, actually, technically, that's two trophies this season, so three trophies in two seasons of management. That's fantastic. Guys, my name's been CJ Root. I will catch you next time on this channel. Please like, subscribe, I do apologise.